No parent wants to see a child cry and squirm during an uncomfortable but necessary procedure. Medical reporter Julie McDonald visited Great Plains Rehab to learn about new technology that makes treatment easier for babies with flat head syndrome. Ivy Johnson is a happy girl in her pretty and pink cranial molding helmet. Perhaps the reason why she's still smiling is because her helmet was made through new scanning technology and not the old way where people would hold the patient down in order to get a plaster impression. Once you'd get the plaster on, you had to hold that and, and mold the back in front of their head to get a, a positive model to work from. And of course, once you get that plaster over their ears and, and up over their eyes, it's wet, it's cold, it sets, and then it starts, it starts to activate, so then it starts to warm up. In other words, it can be traumatizing for the young patient and mom and dad. I can't imagine having to do that with her, um, but we were the first ones to have this new scanning device done. So they just slip a stocking cap over her head and scan it with an infrared scanner and it shows up on the computer. Ivy needs the helmet to correct positional plagiocephaly, the flathead condition she was born with. The helmet is, is kind of designed as a, as a flower pot, really is the best way to describe it. When you, when you plant a flower, you start out with a small pot and then you gradually increase that as the flower grows. And that's what we're doing with these helmets. They're actually, we're not forcing anything or manipulating anything. We're allowing the child to properly grow and take the shape of that helmet. Ivy's the one doing all the work with this new scanner. As she moves her little head around, the device scans her skull within a millimeter of accuracy. She's been in it for a month and there's been significant improvement so far. We noticed improvement within the first week. We could tell that her head shape was changing for the better. Ivy wears her helmet 23 hours a day, only taking it off to eat and have a bath. But her big pretty smile suggests she doesn't really mind. For NBC North Dakota News, I'm Julie McDonald. Great Plains Rehab purchased the scanner software this summer. It also has a portable scanner for use when serving rural areas from Jamestown to Glendive.